morning. I'm honored to join all of you here at Freedom's Fortress on this historic and solemn day. I want to thank everyone here who made this commemoration possible and who traveled with us today, especially my distinguished colleague from California, Karen Bass. that the ones that came here 400 years ago could not imagine a representative representing a caucus of 55 members speaking at the recognition of this day. So I want to give Karen Bass another round of applause. He lost his bid for re-election, but he had already left an indelible mark 
on the cause of freedom. A portrait of John Mercer Langston hangs in my office, a visible reminder of one of the many visionary black Virginians and Americans whose dogged pursuit of equity helps shape a more perfect union. We may never know all of the names and stories of the men and women who were brought here at Fort Comfort in 1619, but as we remember, mourn, and honor them, let us also remember the trailblazers like John Mercer Langston, who followed them, believed in, and fought, and believed in, and fought for a nation to live up to its creed. I hope that reflecting our nation's complicated history reminds us of our responsibility to work to achieve liberty and justice for all. Thank you.